right, Steven, what are you going to do? What's going on? What am I going to do? Why are we down here at the trailer? It's lube day. It's lube day? <laughs> lube day. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That just struck me as funny. <laughs> that just struck me as real funny. So this is Friday, and this is Friday, June the 24th, and you are leaving out to go uh, pick up a load in St. Louis on Sunday, right? Yep. And from St. Louis? Picking up on Monday. Well, okay, you're picking up in St. Louis on Monday, and then from St. Louis, you're heading up to Washington State. Yeah, basically just right over the borderline, we're going to... Down on the state line there by Spokane. Let me see. So that's not like all up into Washington, right? No, I ain't got to go all the way up in there. I wouldn't take a load all the way up there. They'd have to pay me really good to go up there. No way. I used to run up there when uh, I didn't know any better. But you said that Washington, is, you live in Washington, and you said it's a beautiful state. Yeah, but it's also very expensive. So, oh, is it? Yeah. Not to mention there's a lot of mountains to climb, and fuel is expensive. And it can't be any more expensive I, than... I can't can see the reason why I would want to run up there. It can't be any more expensive I than... I never did make any money. I make way better money staying out of there than I do going in. So. Is that sort of like California then, right? Yeah. California is also one of those states that, that you wouldn't want to go into. Yeah. They're both states that I've lived in. Isn't that interesting? So we are we are under Stephen's uh, flatbed trailer is what we are. Um, you're looking at a bird's eye view, or I don't know if it's a bird's eye view, but you're looking at a view. You're looking at a view from underneath Stephen's trailer. Is, is it funny? You just said it's lube day. It just struck me as really funny. <laughs> Loopity doo doob doob. Be real careful about how much grease I put on those things after that. One time. So you changed the oil earlier. Uh, this is the afternoon. This is about three thirty in the afternoon, and a couple of hours ago, Stephen changed the oil in the truck, and now he's working on lubing up the trailer. You're doing all the prep. Usually, I lube the truck first, but I'm doing the trailer first. Well, because I have to go retrieve AJ from YMCA camp. Gotta get her all lubed up. Check all the pressure, especially this time of year when it's hot. You gotta have everything greased up and lubed up. Don't want any troubles. Very important. It. Do you realize, Stephen, that today, that six months from today is New Year's Eve? I mean, it's not New Year's, Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. It's been six months since Christmas. Can you believe that? I mean, this is June the 24th, and it's, we're already halfway since Christmas. Can you believe that? Well, just yesterday, I turned 21. <laughs> well, then next month, you'll be 60, so. Yeah. Time sure does go by fast. i got to do something about this ABS, because uh, it's all hooked up. I'm going to have to find out why the ABS isn't working right, because i got flat spots on the... Brand new tires, and I ain't into that. So I'm gonna have to go through this whole ABC, ABS system and find out what's going on. What does ABS stand for? Uh, um, I forget right off the top of my head. Automatic brake system. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Oh. Oh no. Maybe I might want well to put my head down. Ooh, oh, no. 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 My hubby just hit his head. Twice. Ugh. 
Not no, cool. These weeds, the weeds are messing me up. Well, why didn't you do, why didn't you mow underneath here? Yeah, like I'm gonna get a lot more underneath. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. That's all that one gets. You're certainly in a tight spot, aren't you? Are you liking that Milwaukee uh, machine? That's good. Yeah, that's a lot easier to grease things up. I got two flat spots on there. When the truck is empty, I can feel it all the way up in the cab. Tudum, 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 tudum. I ain't digging that. So that means you, you've really got a feel the for birds it. birds are building a nest in here. Oh, there's a nest? Right there. <gasps> oh my goodness! Is there an egg in there? I don't know, but they're always doing that. See, Every that's time I park over here, they come over here and build nests in <laughs> Let me see if I can't. That doesn't look like it's completely built yet. Give them another day or two. Oh, wow, they are building a nest underneath your trailer. Look at that. They're, they're building a nest under Steven's trailer, but there is no egg in it yet. I wonder if you've ever taken off with a nest of babies. Uh, I don't know. I've taken off with plenty of nests, though. With lots of birds nests underneath your trailer? Yep. <laughs> but the eggs have fallen out. Actually, you'd be surprised how well they ride under there. Really? One of these days you're gonna do what? Run a greaseless fifth wheel. Oh, they make such a thing? Yeah, we do. Really? A gre you're saying a greaseless fifth wheel? Yeah. Well then what keeps it from, what replaces the grease? Uh, silicone pads. I've run silicone pads before, but they don't, they break. So it doesn't do as well as grease then? So I'm hearing mixed messages. I'm hearing you say that you would like to run a greaseless fifth wheel, but then I'm also hearing you say that I don't do as well. No, I said I ran silicone pads. That's where you don't run grease, you use a pad but I've never used a greaseless fifth wheel. Oh. Cause that's, those are usually aluminum. And you can't, well, once you have one, you can't, you gotta be careful because you wanna hook up to a trailer that's got grease on it, so. So if you're pulling one trailer, that's fine, but if you're pulling more than one trailer, uh, you have to make sure that, you have to get all this grease off of it for one, which is a job all by itself. And 20 years of grease caked up, caked up up there. Right. 
Well, how new are the um, greaseless fifth wheels? How new are that? Well, they've been around for a while. They're usually aluminum and they're lightweight, and then they have silicone pads on them. All right, you done? Yep, this one's done. Seems, Tater's ready to go. Seems to me, I think, I, I remember it took longer before. I think I've, you've spent a long time out here doing this before. So it just didn't need a whole, it didn't need, need a whole lot. It longer to check the tire pressure. I mean, the tires, those brand new tires, they shouldn't be happening I need to check them, though. Are you going to do that now? I didn't bring no air compressor or gauge. So we need to go back and get that then? No, nope, I'm going to grease the truck now. So you can do the air pressures tomorrow? Uh, I got to go grocery shop tomorrow. So I got to load up tomorrow and go grocery shopping tomorrow. So all the work I'm doing is going to get done today. And leaving I out? I can check my pressures while I'm up there waiting. Okay, and you're leaving out on Sunday. Yep. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's pretty hot out here, it's especially like... with this big old coveralls. Hopefully, y'all are staying cool no matter where you are. Have fun, and God bless, and later. Later.